All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. So now we have the women's 4 by 100 meters. So coming into this meet, Kentucky was ahead. Like, they ran the second fastest time in the nation, 42.46, whereas LSU, they have 42.69. So this boy's basically a two-headed race. One bubble in the baton could cost another team to win. But, yeah, no further token. I won't keep you guys for long. Let's get into it. Women's 4 by 100 meters. I already know we won, obviously, so you know LSU obviously won this. But you have Kentucky all the way in lane six and LSU in lane five. They had a bad, not bad, but they had a disappointing four by one in the men's race as they bubbled the baton in the last exchange. But all the blocks looks to be LSU. Oh, actually, LSU is in lane seven. The hurdler, uh, Leah Armstrong, she got out real good. So off the first baton, looks to be LSU already out fast. They pass the baton to favor of Philly. You got Abby Steiner for Kentucky. So pretty much good passes right here. Messiah Russell third leg. Oh, LSU, they kind of had the bad baton pass right here. The delay pass, but let's see. Let's see how the third leg goes. You have Messiah Russell. So LSU letting this out. Oh, but Messiah Russell looks to be catching up. LSU had another, oh, she got out too late. The LSU runner got out too late. That's Tillman Davis, but, you know, it happens. And boom, final leg. She got to recover. She knows she kind of messed up the baton. Ooh, ooh. She a good anchor. I seen her anchor all the LSU teams, like LSU 4 by one team this year. That's pretty good. You know, when you mess up, you just know, like, as an anchor, you know, I got to finish it. My teammates just worked, so I got to make sure I do the rest. Well, blah, blah, blah. I told the Kentucky runner was going to catch up, but nah. She had a lot left in the tank from LSU. It was pretty close race. LSU 42.5. Kentucky gets second. Like the video. Subscribe. See you guys in the next one, man. Peace.